Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free English ebook before it's gone. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Welcome to the 2000 Core English Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice, and review what you've learned. Okay, let's get started. First is keyboard. 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 A keyboard is a musical instrument. It looks like a piano, but a keyboard is digital. You play it by pressing your fingers on the black and white keys. Here's an example. Play the keyboard. Play the keyboard. Play the keyboard. Rash. 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 A rash is a medical condition. A rash is usually a part of the skin that turns red in color and often is very painful or maybe it feels itchy. Here's an example. Itchy rash. Itchy rash. Itchy rash. Nausea. 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 Nausea is a very interesting word with an interesting spelling. Nausea is the pronunciation. Nausea refers to a medical condition, a feeling in your body. When you feel nausea, you feel your stomach is not happy and like the inside of your stomach might come out of your body. Here's an example. Nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting. Vacancy. 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 Okay, vacancy is a noun. This word vacancy means an open spot somewhere, some kind of available place. We see vacancy used a lot in hotels, which means there is an open room. Here's another example. This parking lot has no vacancy. This parking lot has no vacancy. This parking lot has no vacancy. Ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong is a very popular game. It's played with a paddle and a small ball, and there's a table with a net across the top. You play the game by hitting the ball across the net at your opponent. Here's an example. Play ping pong. Play ping pong. Play ping pong. Running. 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 Running is a very popular sport. Running refers to simply going outside or in the gym and going for a jog or sometimes going quickly, which is referred to as sprinting. So running can be done almost anywhere. Here's an example sentence. The woman is running on the beach. The woman is running on the beach. The woman is running on the beach. DVD. 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 A DVD is a now kind of old way to watch a movie. A DVD is a movie on a CD disc, so you can play a DVD with a DVD movie player or by putting the DVD disc inside your computer. Here's an example sentence. I love to watch this DVD with my friends. I love to watch this DVD with my friends. I love 
to watch this DVD with my friends. Staple. Staple. Stay pull. Staple is used as both a noun and a verb. As a verb, to staple means to use a stapler, an object, a machine you have in your office or your home, to connect two or more pieces of paper. The two pieces of paper are connected with the noun form of this word, a staple. A staple is a small piece of metal that goes through the papers and is connected on the other side. Here's an example that uses the noun form. Box of staples. Box of staples. Box of staples. Stapler. 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 As I just described, a stapler is a machine you use to connect two or more pieces of paper. These are very, very common in offices and other schools and workplaces and situations in which people need to connect documents all the time. Here's an example. Return my stapler. Return my stapler. Return my stapler. Mary, Mary, Mary. Okay, this verb means to join together for life, as in a partnership for life. So when two people decide they want to have a partnership for life, they decide to get married, and the verb form of this is marry. For example, I want to marry you. I want to marry you. I want to marry you. Let's review. I'm going to describe a word or phrase in English. See if you can remember it. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say the musical instrument that's digital that you play by pushing black and white keys? Keyboard, keyboard. And how to say the medical condition that makes your skin turn a red color and that may be itchy? Rash, rash. What about the medical condition where your stomach feels upset, like the inside of your stomach might come out of your body? Nausea. Nausea. Do you remember how to say the word that means an open place or an open spot, especially at hotels? Vacancy, vacancy. Let's try the sport you play with paddles and a table that has a net on the top. Ping pong, ping pong. What about the sport you play by going for a jog somewhere? Running. Running. Now, let's see if you remember how to say the movie that you can watch by putting a disc inside a player or inside your computer. DVD, DVD. Another one. What about the noun that means a piece of metal you can use to connect two documents together? Staple, st. 
staple. Do you remember how to say the machine that you use to connect two documents together? Stapler. Stapler. And finally, do you remember how to say the verb that you use when you want someone to be your partner for life? Marry. Marry. Well done. See you next time. Bye. Saxophone. 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 A saxophone is a musical instrument. It's usually made of brass and is played with two hands. It has a part at the top that is a little straight, it goes in your mouth, a long body that ends in a bell shape, and it's often used in jazz music. Here's an example. Play the saxophone. Play the saxophone. Play the saxophone. Drums. 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 The drum, or drums in the plural form, is another musical instrument. We play the drums by using two sticks and hitting different things to create different sounds. All of these different things we hit used together are called drums. In an example, play the drums. Play the drums. Play the drums. Harmonica. 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 The harmonica is another musical instrument. This is a small musical instrument, about this big. We play it by holding it up to our mouth and blowing air through holes in the harmonica. You might hear the harmonica used in music from the US. It has the feeling of a night out camping. Here's an example. Play the harmonica. Play the harmonica. Play the harmonica. Room service. Room service. Room service. Room service is something you can receive in a hotel. If you want to order something to eat, something to drink, you can usually pick up the phone in your hotel room and request room service, which means you want someone to bring food or drinks to your room. Here's an example. Room service meal. Room service meal. Room service meal. Receipt. 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 Receipt has a very interesting spelling. There is a P in the spelling of this word, but we do not pronounce it. The pronunciation is receipt. A receipt is a small piece of paper, a physical receipt, or sometimes a digital receipt that gives you information about something you bought. So after you go to a store and you buy something, usually you receive a receipt a record of your purchase. Here's an example. Hotel receipt. Hotel receipt. Hotel receipt. Wi-Fi. 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 Wi-Fi is a very common word these days. Wi-Fi means wireless internet connection. Many people have Wi-Fi in their homes, and there are lots of places out in cities and communities where you can access free Wi-Fi as well. Here's an example. Wi-Fi router. Wi-Fi router. Wi-Fi router. Garbage can. Garbage can. Garbage can. 
A garbage can is a place you put your trash or your garbage after you are finished using something, and it's the thing that you use to remove the garbage from your home, usually once or twice a week. Many people have a garbage can in the kitchen or in the bathroom. Here's an example sentence: Put the garbage can out by the curb every Tuesday to be emptied. Put the garbage can out by the curb every Tuesday to be emptied. Put the garbage can out by the curb every Tuesday to be emptied. Envelope. 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 An envelope is something we use to send a letter or to mail a letter or other important document. When we finish writing our document or writing our letter, we put it inside an envelope, a case for the letter, and send it. Here's an example phrase: Red envelope. Red envelope. Red envelope. Paper. 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 Paper is, of course, something we use for many different things. We usually use paper in school and at work for writing notes, for doing our homework, for sharing little pieces of information on small size paper, and so on. So, paper is a very, very common material. Here's an example phrase: piece of paper. Piece of paper. Piece of paper. Engage. 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 Engage is part of the expression to get engaged. To get engaged refers to the step before getting married to someone. So to get engaged with someone means to ask someone to marry you, and for the other person to say yes. So we don't say I engaged someone, but we say I got engaged or they are engaged. Here's another example situation. Are you engaged? Congratulations. Are you engaged? Congratulations. Are you engaged? Congratulations. Infection. 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 An infection is not a good thing to have. So, an infection refers to a wound on the body, usually that has bacteria or something else bad in it that creates sometimes a very painful experience, or it can create something that's very, very unpleasant. So, when we have an infection, we need to get medicine to take care of the infection. For example, skin infection. Skin infection. Skin in. Infection. Next is flu. 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 The flu refers to a very, very common type of sickness. Flu is short for influenza, a type of sickness. So the flu refers to just a general feeling of not being in very good health for most of us. We can have a fever, maybe we have a runny nose, maybe our stomach hurts, or we have some combination of these feelings. So when we say we have the flu, it generally means we have this very common type of illness that affects the body, usually for a Short period of time. This happens a lot in winter. Here's an example expression: flu season. Flu season. Flu season. Okay. The next word is trumpet. 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 A trumpet is a musical instrument. This is a brass instrument that can be held in the hands. It has three keys at the top, and the person playing the instrument can control the pitch of the sound with their lip motions and with the speed of the breath that they're using through the instrument, and so on. So, for example, brass trumpet, brass trumpet, brass trumpet. Next is departure gate. Departure gate. Departure gate. 
The departure gate is a very important thing to know when you are traveling by air. The departure gate is the place in the airport that your flight is going to leave from. So it usually is on your boarding pass, the departure gate number, and you need to go to that specific gate, that specific location, in order to get on your flight. So here's an example. Departure gate 43. Departure gate 43. Departure gate 43. Next is sociology. 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 Sociology is the study of humans and the study of human behavior. So when we study sociology, we look at the different ways that humans have relationships, the ways that humans have interacted over time, the ways that we maybe communicate through our body language or through our words. There are many, many different factors to sociology, but they all relate to societies and people. Here's an example expression. Study of sociology. Study of sociology. Study of sociology. Okay, the next word is flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. A flight attendant is a person who works on an airline and they're the people that help you when you need something to eat or something to drink or when you have a question while you're on the flight. If you need a blanket or if you need some help with maybe headphones, for example, you talk to a flight attendant. Flight attendant can refer to either a man or a woman. For example, female flight attendant. Female flight attendant. Female flight attendant. The next word is seat. 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 So a seat is a place to sit. So you might have many seats in your house. Any place that you can sit down can be called a seat. Generally, however, when we make a reservation for something, for example, at a concert or maybe on an airplane, we have one specific seat that is for us only. So for example, airplane seat. Airplane seat. Airplane seat. Okay, the next word is medicine. 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 So the word medicine has a couple of different uses. It can refer to the study of human health and how to recover from injuries and illness. And the word medicine can also be used to talk about something that we take or that we put on our bodies to help us to recover from an injury. So doctors and nurses study medicine in order to give their patients medicine to recover from things. Here's an example, field of medicine. Field of medicine. Field of medicine. Okay, the next one is economy class. Economy class. Economy class. Economy class usually refers to a specific type of seat or a specific category of seat on an airplane. You may also find economy class on something like a train, perhaps. So economy class usually refers to the most affordable seats on an airplane or on a train. There are other types of classes that you can buy, but economy is usually the cheapest and tends to be maybe the least comfortable as well. Here's an example expression. Economy class seats. Economy class seats. Economy class seats. Okay, next is flight. 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 All right. Flight refers to a couple different things in English, but in many cases, it refers to traveling through the air. So when you make a reservation for airline travel, we usually say, I reserved a flight, which means you reserved a seat on a plane that's going through the air. So for example, boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. Luggage. 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 
Luggage refers to all of the things that you take with you on your trip. When you bring a suitcase, a backpack, a handbag, another type of bag, we call all of that luggage. So some people like to travel with a lot of luggage, and some people like to travel very light, which means they don't bring a lot of luggage. Here's an example phrase: Travel with luggage. Travel with luggage. Travel with luggage. Okay, next is bandage. 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 A bandage is a piece of cloth or maybe a piece of glue and some other kind of tape, maybe material, that we put over a wound. We put over an injury to help it heal. So for very, very small injuries, maybe you know things like band-aids, which we have that are like little sticky kinds of pieces of cloth that we can put on our skin to help wounds heal. But if you have a very big injury, you may need a much larger bandage. Like you need to wrap some cloth around a maybe very damaged part of your body, or you might even break a bone and need to wrap a very, very big bandage called a cast around your arm or your leg. No matter what, these are all referred to as bandages, things that we use to help our body heal. Here's an example. Wrap with bandage. Wrap with bandage. Wrap with bandage. Okay, the next word is patient. 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 So, a patient is a person who receives care from a doctor. So, although we have this word patient, which means someone who is very calm and can wait for things for a long time, the word patient in medical situations refers to the person who goes to the hospital, who goes to the clinic, who meets with the doctor in order to receive care. So, whenever someone in like a doctor or a nurse position talks about a patient or the patient, they are referring to the sick person or the person who needs care. So an example of this is sick patient. Sick patient. Sick patient. Okay, the next word is department. 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 A department means part of an organization, or part of a company, or even part of a store. So when we talk about a department, it's usually because we want to talk about something specific that we can buy in that section, or something specific that people in that section do. So in a company or in an organization, different departments have different specialties. For example, accounting, or marketing, or sales. And in, say, a department store, you might find different departments based on the type of item. For example, the shoe department, or the clothing department, or the lifestyle or home care departments, and so on. Here's an example. What department do you belong to? What department do you belong to? What department do you belong to? Okay, next is accountant. 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 An accountant is someone who takes care of money, budgets, taxes, and so on. So we can have an accountant at our company, and we can also have a personal accountant. These are people who help us to keep track of our finances, our money, and to help us to file information with our governments to make sure we pay the correct amount of taxes. So an accountant is a type of job. Here's an example. Licensed accountant. Licensed accountant. Licensed accountant. Okay, next is lawyer. 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 A lawyer is a job. A lawyer is someone who is specialized in the rules and regulations of a country or maybe even the rules of a specific region like a city or a state. So a lawyer is someone who interprets or who understands laws. So in this word lawyer, we see L-A-W, which is law. So law refers to the rules of a specific place. A lawyer is someone who understands and interprets those rules. So here's an example expression. Company lawyer. Company lawyer. Company lawyer. The next word is wage. Wage. 
wage. So a wage is the amount of money that you are paid to do a job. So depending on the job, your wage is different, and depending on your experience, your wage may be different. So a wage is commonly expressed as a certain amount per hour. For example, five dollars per hour is a wage, or maybe ten dollars an hour is a wage. So there are many different wages according to different jobs, experience levels, and so on. Here's an example: minimum wage, minimum wage, minimum wage. Next is piano, piano, piano. A piano is a musical instrument. This is a noun. A piano is a very large, usually instrument that has 88 black and white keys, and we play by moving our hands in this motion. So a piano can be very, very big, like the ones you see in concert halls, and we can also have digital or electric pianos, which many people have in their homes. Here's an example expression: grand piano, grand piano, grand piano. Okay. The next word is flight number. Flight number. Flight number. A flight number is the number of a specific plane that someone takes to go to another location. So when you make a reservation for a flight, you will receive the flight number. So you can pass that information to someone who's going to pick you up at the airport, or to share that information with someone you're going to meet at the airport. Whatever the flight number has the details like the departure time, the arrival time, the arrival gate, and so on. So a flight number is a very important part. Of your travel itinerary. Here's an example: flight number three four five. Flight number three four five. Flight number three four five. Next is agriculture. 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 Agriculture is a type of science. So agriculture refers to Growing food, growing plants, and even taking care of cattle. So cattle refers to animals that we grow or that we raise for usually、uh, meat purposes or for dairy purposes and so on. So agriculture refers to doing things like farming in order to create food products and perhaps other lifestyle products. Here's an example: agriculture product. Agriculture product. Agriculture product. Accounting. 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 Accounting refers to keeping track of money. So, in companies and organizations, there is usually an accounting department. It's a department of the company that is responsible for keeping track of money-related things. So, where does the money go? Where are the receipts? What was the money used for? And so on. We also have personal accounting, where we track our own money. For example, accounting documents. Accounting documents. A count. Ding documents. Next is bonus. 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 A bonus means something extra. It means something that is not part of the original plan, and in many cases, it refers to extra money. So, if you receive a bonus from your job, for example, it means that you receive extra money at your job. You might also just get something called a bonus at something like an event, or at a restaurant, or maybe at some kind of concert that you go to, where you receive something. Extra as a kind of gift, but usually this refers to money from work. For example, annual bonus, annual bonus, annual bonus. Next is light, light, light. So there are a couple of different uses of the word light, but for this video, I want to focus on the one that refers to weight. So this light is the opposite of heavy. So something that is heavy weighs a lot; it's difficult to pick up. Something that is light does not weigh a lot; it's very easy to pick up. For example, light feather, light feather, light feather. Next is trombone. 
trombone. Trombone. A trombone is a very common musical instrument. This is a brass instrument. It's very unique in that it's played by moving a slide up and down to change the pitch of the instrument. For example, brass trombone. Brass trombone. Brass trombone. Next is departure. 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 So, departure refers to the time, usually, that you leave somewhere. We see this word a lot as part of a schedule. We can use departure with a time or a place to talk about the location or the time at which we leave someplace. So, for example, departure date. Departure date. Departure date. Next is arrival. 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 Arrival refers to the opposite of departure. Departure means to leave someplace. Arrival means to come to someplace as your destination. So arrival can be used to talk about a schedule and it can also be used to talk about a location. For example, arrival gate. Arrival gate. Arrival gate. Next is violin. 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 A violin is a very common and very popular musical instrument. This is a string instrument that is small enough to be held in the hands next to the face. It's played by drawing a bow across the strings of the instrument. For example, play the violin. Play the violin. Play the violin. Earth science. Earth science. Earth science. Earth science is probably easy to guess. It is science that is related to the Earth. So the study of natural parts of our planet. So that can mean rocks and trees and nature and how the Earth moves and so on. All of these things are related to Earth science. Here's an example phrase. Earth science research. Earth science research. Earth science research. Next is science. 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 Science is a very, very big category of study. Science is related to the study of many different things in the world that are naturally occurring. So this could be people, it could be animals, it could be the planet and environment, it could be volcanoes, it could be space, it could be chemical reactions. These are all types of science. Here's an example phrase. Study of science. Study of science. Study of science. Next is prescription. 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 A prescription is something a doctor gives to you that you then take to a pharmacy to receive medicine. So in the past, we would receive a written prescription. The doctor would write the name of the medicine on a piece of paper and give it to us. Now some people might have digital prescriptions as well. You can take these to the pharmacy and receive the medication that you need. Here's an example phrase. Fill a prescription. Fill a prescription. Fill a prescription. Allergy. Allergy. This word is a noun. An allergy is a negative reaction that you have to something else. So for example, people might have an allergy to a certain food, to a certain kind of plant, maybe to an animal. So this causes a reaction in the body. For example, maybe your eyes get really, really watery or you start to sneeze a lot. These are examples of allergies. For example, allergy to pollen. Allergy to pollen. Allergy to pollen. Next is boarding pass. Boarding pass. Boarding pass. Okay, a boarding pass is a piece of paper or a digital pass that you can show to airline staff when you need to get on a plane. So a boarding pass includes your flight number, your seat number, probably the gate that your flight will take off from. So a boarding pass is necessary to get on a plane. For example, boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. 
Boarding pass for the flight. Next is education. 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 Okay, education is a noun. Education refers to the things that we learn, usually in school or as well in our lifetime. So when we talk about going to school, we talk about receiving education. So that's all of the different kinds of knowledge and the different experiences that we have as kids becoming adults. And then after that, we have other forms of education, other forms of knowledge that we get from books, from our jobs, from our hobbies, and so on. So there are many different ways to receive education or to get education. Here's an example phrase. Education and training. Education and training. Education and training. Next is English. 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 Okay, so English is the language that you are learning right now with this video. So English is a very interesting language. It pulls inspiration from many other languages and countries and cultures around the world. With English, we have kind of interesting spellings to think about, interesting ways to pronounce words, and there are many different dialects to consider in English as well. Here's an example sentence. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Next is law. 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 So law can refer to two different things. Law can refer to a country or a city or a state's rules. Their formal rules are called laws. And when we go to school to study those things because we want to become lawyers, we also refer to the study of those things as law. For example, law school, law school, law school. Next is flute, flute, flute. So a flute is a musical instrument. A flute is played in this position. So we use our two hands next to our face to play the flute. It's a long kind of tube shaped instrument that makes a high pitched sound. This is very, very common in orchestras and in symphonies and in maybe high school bands as well. For example, silver flute, silver flute, silver flute. Okay, next is IT department. IT department. IT department. Okay, an IT department is a very, very common section in many companies and many organizations. The IT here stands for information technology. So usually the IT department is responsible for helping people with their computer problems, with other technology problems, media problems, and so on. For example, call the IT department. Call the IT department. Call the IT department. Next is business trip. Business trip. Business trip. A business trip is a trip that you take specifically for business. So that means it's different from a vacation. When you take a vacation, it's just for fun. When you have a business trip, you have to go somewhere for work. And maybe you have some fun while you're there also. But the main purpose of your travels is work or business. For example, go on a business trip. Go on a business trip. Go on a business trip. Next is marketing. 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 Marketing is another very common and very important section of many companies and organizations. Marketing refers to the process of creating things that will help sell products or sell goods and services to other people. So that can mean creating advertisement, it can mean writing things on a company website, and so on. For example, Marketing department. Marketing department. Marketing department. Next is popular. 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 So 
Popular means something that many people like. So when something is popular, that means that a lot of people think that it's really, really good. Be careful not to confuse popular and famous. When something is famous, it means many people know about it, or maybe many people know about a person. When something is popular, it means lots of people know about it and lots of people like it. So we can talk about people in this way, we can talk about places like restaurants, and we can also talk about things with the word popular. For example, popular man, popular man, popular man, insignificant, insignificant, insignificant. So the word insignificant means something that is not important. It's not special. If we break this word down, we have the prefix in, which means not or no, and the word significant, which means something that is important or something that we need to care about or pay attention to a lot. So together, this means not significant or not important or not something that we need to care or think about a lot. Insignificant. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Famous. 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 So something that is famous is something or someone that is very, very well known. So this is usually someone like a celebrity, like an actor or an actress. Maybe they're a musician, they're part of a band, perhaps they're an artist, they create paintings, or maybe they write something that's very, very well known. So someone who is famous is known by many different people, and something that is famous is also known by many different people. For example, famous actor. Famous actor. Famous actor. Sneeze. 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 So sneeze is a verb and a noun. To sneeze, the verb, means that feeling that you have in your nose when your body needs to move air out of it really quickly. We have that achoo, right? That's called the noun form sneeze. And as a verb, we say to sneeze. So that means to do that action. For example, the woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. Casual. 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 So casual is the opposite of formal. Casual means something that is kind of relaxed, something that is laid back, something that's not super polite. So when we have everyday conversations with our friends, we usually use casual language or we dress in casual clothes or we have kind of a casual feeling. For example, casual clothing. Casual clothing. Casual clothing. Guitar. 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 This word has kind of an interesting spelling. It starts with G-U-I, but we pronounce this as gi. So a guitar is a musical instrument. We play it like this usually, and this is something that is played all over the world. There are lots and lots of talented people who play guitar, and they are called guitarists. For example, some of them play a six-string guitar. Six-string guitar. Six-string guitar. Next is breathe. 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 Okay, this word is a verb. It means to take air into your body and to put air out of your body. This process of getting air into your body and moving it out is called breathing. Make sure you're cautious of the spelling of this. To breathe, this word has an E at the end, yeah? We also have a noun that looks very similar and is related to this process. That's called breath, but there's no E at the end. So be careful when you use this as a verb. Make sure you don't forget that E. For example, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, spit, spit, spit. So this is kind of a gross vocabulary word, but it's important to know. This is a noun and a verb. So as a verb, to spit means to force whatever is in your mouth out of your mouth. So if you're eating something, for example, and you spit it out, that means you force it out of your mouth. If you have nothing in your mouth, just the water, the liquid in your mouth, and you put that out of your mouth, that's called spitting. So to spit means to force something out of your mouth. 
as a noun, spit means just the liquid inside your mouth. So an example, no spitting, no spitting, no spitting, dentist, dentist, dentist. So the dentist is the tooth doctor. So when you need to have your teeth cleaned, when you need to talk to a doctor about something happening in your mouth, with your teeth, with your gums, these kinds of things, you visit a dentist. It's important to see a dentist regularly. So for example, see a dentist, see a dentist, see a dentist. Cavity, cavity, cavity. So a cavity usually refers to a hole in your tooth. So this is a very common type of tooth damage. When you have a cavity, you need to go and see a dentist to get it repaired. For example, deep cavity, deep cavity, deep cavity, asthma, asthma, asthma. So this word has very interesting spelling. There's a TH in the middle, but we don't say asthma, we say asthma. So kind of ignore that, but try to remember it when you're spelling this word. So asthma is a very, very common type of illness that affects the lungs. So someone who has asthma may have trouble breathing normally, or maybe they are irritated, their lungs get irritated by some kind of allergic reaction, or maybe they have to take some kind of medication to help them to breathe regularly. So different people have different kinds of asthma, but this is a very common illness that affects the lungs. So here's an example expression. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free English ebook before it's gone.